the planning thing is, is really amazing to me. You think about what it takes for, for you, you to be, actually be able to plan. It requires that you have an internal goal. You know, an internal goal, that, it's always happening. Like if I give you, um, when I ask you to read the color, not the word, you know, I'm giving you a goal that's directing your behavior. But the thing is, is the goal's not actually real. It's not in the environment. It can't be motivating in the same way that, that something that's right there and salient is. Um, you know, as Austin said, I like video games. Uh, you might not be surprised that I actually studied the positive effects of video games on uh, brain development. <laughs> um, but that's a different talk. Um, I like playing you know, Xbox 360. I cannot believe. I, hate, I hated English class. I apologize for the, if English teachers. That was my least favorite when I was a kid. Now, when your buddies come over and say, you want to play video games? But you got to do a paper in a class that you don't like? It's not very hard to say yes to the video games, right? There's, there's an actual reward to that. It feels good. But I can't believe that any kid, honestly, could actually say, eh, I really want to do that, but I need to do this paper right now. And I think about it like, well, why? why? Why do you need to do that paper right now? Well, because hypothetically, I might get a good grade on it. You know, maybe not. Uh, and then you say, well, okay, well, that's good. Why? Because then that might lead to a better grade in that class. Why? So I can get a better GPA at a high school. Why? So I can get into a better college, maybe, right, hypothetically. Then I can nowadays have to go to grad school for something. Um, and then maybe get a good enough job that I can make enough money to buy an Xbox 360 <laughs> and keep my kids up all night. I can't believe that anybody doesn't say, this is stupid. I'm playing, the, I'm playing the video game now. So it's a challenge, and it's a challenge for a lot of people. This is why diets are hard. Oh, I'm sorry. My wife calls it a lifestyle change for me. It's not a diet. <laughs> but I do like chocolate, and when I'm on my lifestyle change, when someone presents you with chocolate, you don't say, oh, no. You say, I shouldn't. You know, but you want to, and often you do. So it's hard for everybody, but the worse your working memory, the harder it is to actually stretch this out across time and actually let that, that goal, those goals guide your behavior in a way. Um, I think it's really important to think about this stuff like planning organization. Often we think of it, it's often presented in classic textbooks as being kind of biological, right? Like prefrontal cortex or something like that, like this is your planning area or your... That's not how it works. You have some basic stuff like working memory, but these are skills. You build that. You learn to, be, to plan, to organize. You build that. And, it, and when, when we take that out, we think of biology as just deterministic. Like, you, you, okay, I have poor executive functioning. It means I can't plan. No, it means you need to be taught to plan, and it needs to be more explicit. And when we forget that, we just let these kids, and then we think our only answer is maybe like drugs or something, you know, right? Like, not the bad, you know, Ritalin, not not crack cocaine or something. Um, but the thing is, is it's a skill, again, we'll come back to this, but it's a skill that can be taught and should be taught and made explicit. 